What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be making some healthy protein bodybuilding deep dish pizzas. Whew. Say that three times fast. That was my seventh attempt at getting this bar filmed, so we're doing good. I know what you're thinking. Remington, how in the world can a pizza be healthy, especially deep dish pizza? I'm telling you, you watch this video to the end and you will see how we can take the traditional pizza mantra and flip it on its head. Your typical pizza, loaded with fat, loaded with carbohydrates with very minimal protein. This is going to completely reverse that. High in protein, low in carbohydrates, and extremely low in fat. I'm telling you guys, this recipe is a game changer. So if you guys are ready, then as always, you know I am. Let's do it! In typical recipe fashion, I'm gonna go over all the ingredients we're gonna need really quick. Starting off with our toppings, we're gonna have some pepperoni. I opted for turkey pepperoni instead of regular but just because the fat content is lower. So use whatever toppings you want, but for this one, we figured we'd keep it classic pizza style and do some pepperoni. About 30 grams of this in our recipe. You're also gonna need yourself some pizza sauce. I'm using ragu, just homemade style pizza sauce. Macros on this are pretty good. You can find some lower carbohydrate versions, but I'm telling you, this recipe, even when it's all said and done, is so low carb that it doesn't really matter. Use whatever pizza sauce you'd like. We're also going to need some oregano. Going to be using about half a teaspoon of this along with a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder in this recipe. We're going to need 150 grams of a fat-free cream cheese, high in protein, no fat. Going to help make our crust. And we're also going to need two bags of fat-free shredded cheese. Now you can use two mozzarella, two cheddars, or do what I'm doing, a mix of the both. I'm going to mix these together. You'll understand more once the video starts on how this will work, but I'm telling you guys, it's going to be good. So two bags of these. And then moving over here, we're going to need three large eggs. Eggs, and then you're gonna need three baking sheets. We're gonna be splitting this recipe into three different mini deep dish pizzas. That way you can also meal prep with this two guys. So I'm telling you, eight ingredients, sounds pretty simple, right? Good, I'm glad you're in agreement with me. Let's do it. The first thing we're gonna do is get our crust ready. So that's gonna require the mixing of these ingredients you see right here before you. Starting off, we have our three large eggs. We're gonna go ahead and break them into our mixing bowl here. Just crack them right in there. Help add some protein, help add some healthy fats to this. There we go. Next up, I have our 150 grams of fat-free cream cheese that I already weighed out. We'll go ahead and put that down in here as well. And now moving into the next ingredient, we have garlic powder and oregano. I mixed up and weighed out in this container here. So we'll just dump those in. And then next up, this is the part where it's a little bit of personal preference. So we have our two bags of cheese here and this cheese is gonna be used for the toppings as well as the base. So what I recommend doing at this point is putting in as much in here as you want. You probably want at least three quarters of this down in here and then saving the other bit of cheese for the toppings of your pizza. Like I said, all personal preference preference really, but I feel like that will be about the optimal amount. We'll do a little bit more. Boom. I like things cheesy. And then I figure for the final ingredient, I have this in the fridge, so we might as well use the old food scale and implement it. We have some Parmesan cheese. We're going to be using 30 grams of this as well to add some flavor. Go ahead and weigh this out here. Perfect, 30 grams. Now we're gonna need to blend this up. You can use a fork if you'd like or a spoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my little mixer here. It barely gets any use, so we might as well use it now. Go in and get all these blended together. And there we go, guys. As you can see, we have it all mixed up. It should be the same consistency throughout. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take our dough mix here and evenly distribute it between these three mini pans. So we'll go in and put some in here, some over here. There we go. This actually smells really good, guys. Lots of cheese, lots of cheese. All right, there we go. Now we'll go in here and make sure we flatten these out. All right, those look even and flattened out enough to me. Let's throw these guys in the oven. I I went ahead and placed these on a baking tray to place in the oven, and the oven has been preheated and is now set at 375 degrees. We're gonna throw these in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. Grab these here, put them in here. This is gonna cook our crust, and then we're gonna add everything else we need. Timer, 20, and boom. I'll see you guys when we pull these out. Boom, 20 minutes is up. Go ahead and pull these out of here. Oh baby, looking good. So the crust is officially done. You can touch it and it's not quite cooked all the way through yet, but that's because we're gonna put it back in the oven. So now we wanna add in our second layer of toppings. So I went ahead, measured out one cup or 252 grams of this pizza sauce and we're gonna distribute it throughout these three containers. Guys, this smells so good. I am so excited to give this a try. Uh, hopefully this is good. I could be having pizza every single day then. There we go. Get this in here. Take a spoon, go in, and we'll distribute this across all of them. Would hate for this to be any less delicious than I already think it's gonna be. So we'll make sure we do all this stuff perfectly. 
There we go. Next up, we'll take the rest of our cheese and do the exact same thing. We'll distribute it amongst all of these containers here. Nice, dump this on here. Perfect. Distribute this as well, make it look all pretty. Cause I know my mom's watching. She always critiques these cooking videos. So we gotta make sure this looks appetizing for everybody. And then I also weighed out our 30 grams of pepperonis and we'll go ahead and put those on our pizzas as well. And there we go. Now, once again, we're gonna place this back in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, or at least until that cheese is melted. And guys, this will be good to go. Look at that. Man, I'm excited. I am excited. Go ahead, close you. We'll set one more timer, 20 minutes. We'll check it then. And if it needs five more, then that's what we'll do. Guys, I'm super pumped. I will see you when we yank these out. Here we go. Mm. Guys, look at these pizzas. That could not have turned out any better if I tried twice as hard. I don't know how I really could have tried any harder, but hey, look at this. Oh man, that just looks absolutely delectable. And the thing is, we're gonna eat one right now for a taste test, and I get to save two for tomorrow, and boom. Meal prep, baby, meal prep. All right, let's get down to business. This smells so good, guys. I am so excited to give this thing a try. Check that out. Isn't that just gorgeous? Ooh. Okay, guys, I really hope this is good. That way, I can start making these more often. All right, enough talking. Let's get down to business. You guys ready? Go in here and get a nice bite. Ooh, there we go. The bottom layer, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see underneath that the bottom layer kind of turns into a crust. Pretty cool, it's like thick down in there. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? All right guys, three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's gonna be, okay, okay, we gotta read, hold on, we gotta get rid of the cheese strings. We, uh, uh, daddy long strings, okay, come on. Here, we'll, we'll do it spaghetti, we'll do it spaghetti style. Twist it up, up, oh, technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> let's try this again. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. I am not even kidding with you. This is easily, am I, am I good? <clears throat> this is easily a double seal of approval recipe for sure. Boom, boom. This literally tastes just like a mini pizza that you might buy at the store and cook in the oven. You can like see here guys, look, the bottom layer literally turns into a thick crust-like consistency. This really seems like an authentic pizza, I'm telling you. I might even, I will consider this in my top three recipes of all time. Hands down, I'm telling you, try this out, guys. All the ingredients are pretty easy besides the fat-free cheese. You might have to look a little harder for those, but, mm, okay. Put that up, oh, and let's talk macros. Now, I did some awesome macro math. Awesome macro math, I don't, I did some macro math and figured out the calories in the entire recipe, the macros, and then if you split it into three. So, I'm gonna be reading off of this here, because it's a lot to remember and it's just not up here yet, so we're gonna act like I'm not doing this, okay. So, in the entire recipe, there is 31 grams of fat, 194 grams of protein, and 79 grams of carbohydrates, which equals a whopping 1,371 calories. Now, I don't know if you heard those macros right, if you've seen how much protein was there, 194 grams of protein in that entire thing is crazy right? But hold on. Here's what happens when you split it into three. So in one of these little pans of pizza, there was only 10 grams of fat. We have 64 grams of protein and 26 grams of carbs. That all equals out to 457 calories. We can do away with that. Boom. But think about that, guys. In one of those little things, only 10 grams of fat for a pizza, only, cheat cheat, 26 grams of carbohydrates, that is nothing in your macros, and a whopping 64 <laughs> grams of protein. That is crazy. You could literally make this entire recipe, eat it all in one sitting, and still be well within your macro guidelines for the day. So if you are craving a pizza, as I am, then you need to give this recipe a shot. I'm telling you, I am telling you. It doesn't sound like it work, but boy it does, and it does it well. Oh, oh, mm. My only suggestion would be at the bottom of your pan, spray nonstick cooking spray because this has a tendency to stick to the bottom. You learn from my mistakes, guys. You learn from my mistakes. Wow. You guys need to make this, then you need to comment below and tell me uh, what you think of it. Cause I'm telling you, this is absolutely, this, this is insane. So I'll have those saved up, I'll throw them in a vlog and uh, we'll eat them and see how they are reheated as well. So, mm. guys. With that, I'm out of here. Mm. Hopefully you enjoyed this recipe video. I'm trying to find good recipes that give you guys the feeling like you're cheating without actually cheating. The goal of this is simple stuff, only eight ingredients for this entire recipe, keeping it macro friendly and keeping it family friendly. Family fun, F funny family. Hey, we'll go with that. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. For those of you wondering, today these new shirts just arrived. We have a few new styles on the website. So go ahead, rjfitapparel.com, check them out. If you wanna grab one, show some support for the channel, then that, then that would be awesome. I would appreciate it so very much and plus you get to wrap a really cool shirt awesome design really good printing even custom tags i don't know if you can see that 
but I'm telling you, premium quality. So with that, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so very, very much. Comment below with ideas for future recipe videos. And as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. With that, I'm out of here. This has been a Remington Jays production, and I'll see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. See you guys.